Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading and we are in your beautiful fellow water sign Cancer. So this is going to be a very compatible energy for you which is really nice and the image I got was something really amazing going on inside of your mind and kind of doing a bit of a rejoicing happy dance kind of energy. Um, so we've got transformation, transition and liberation. Beautiful. I love this. This is the death card is the equivalent of the death card. It's the lovely cicada. And what I love this is, is love about this is the green of the cicada. Of course, I like the green. And um, I love it because it represents life, new life. And it represents cicadas uh, release the shell, a bit like a snake releasing its skin. And it's saying something that is old and discarded that but potentially something heavy you are carrying around, you're releasing and unburdening yourself. Um, so you're freeing yourself, which is actually really lovely and ready to step into new growth. And the green does represent heart as well, represents uh look what else came out green more green <laughs> it's all green for you today so you're getting the green light quite literally with something perhaps but green does represent the heart the heart chakra so it is coming back to love coming back to joy the sword to venus Lib libra it's kind of interesting because venus is moving into uh, mercury i mean not mercury Gemini. I was thinking about the sign that Gemini rules. So it's interesting. This sword to Venus Libra is about a relationship and it's about some ideas and decisions that you've had to make, even the hesitation about a relationship in your life, some of the people in your life. But there's something really transforming in terms of your connecting into your heart and it's not so much your head. It's it's like your head might be uncertain and unsure, but listen to what the message is listen to what your heart is saying you and saying to you that might be getting giving you the green light uh, where your head might be saying mm, orange amber yellow I don't know maybe I'm not sure <laughs> so let's see getting the green light with something in your life at this moment in time so and I do feel like it's very much connected to a relationship and some decisions around a relationship. So this can be love relationship, it can be work relationship, it can be family relationship, friend relationship, it can be relationship with anybody in your life. But yeah, I really like this green energy that's coming through for you. So let's see what else. We've got the magician. Okay, so this is like how? How is this going to happen? Um, the sun. Oh, okay. So yes. There's breakthroughs around this, the breakthroughs around something that, and you're seeing very clearly now how to move forward because you've got the green light and you're kind of like, I didn't think something was possible before, but now something within the relationship is transforming and shifting and changing. And now I've got the kind of go ahead. We can move forward with something. The hanged man, there's a sense of enlightenment. And this is from looking at something from another person's point of view, realizing what you've been holding on to and then letting something go. So this is part of the process of um, moving forward the high priestess wow look at all these major arcanas coming through for you so this is where you're potentially getting this person that you're dealing with here is somebody who is very very important to you could be your number one kind of energy but it's also trust your intuition you're getting information from all sorts of places here see the magician is getting information um, from from spirit, you know, open mind, anything is possible. The sun is coming in, illuminating and showing you things clearly. And then the hanged man has the sun around um, his head because he's seen something from a very different angle. So it's kind of like, ah, oh, I've looked, I can see that very clearly. Information's coming in through your intuition with the high priestess, which is really fantastic. And then we've got the devil, five major arcanas. Wow. And we've got the Queen of Cups. So we are in cancer season and this is the card of cancer, which is around how are you feeling about this? Really trust your intuition with it. Really trust your emotions. Uh, and the can this is all about love, self-love, how you're nurturing and looking after yourself. Because for some of you, there may have been the devil energy, which is like a no. You might be saying no to the devil or you've got you've been dealing with a no which you felt very stuck on. 
So for some of you, this is about your health as well. If there's something that you've been dealing with with the devil that has been negatively impacting your health, you're getting some very strong green lights for self-care, self-nurturing, self-love, uh, the go-ahead, seeing things really clearly, breakthroughs, because the sun can represent vitality and joy as well. So it's um, really interesting because I feel like it's really funny because it's like, you're getting a yes and a no. You're having to say no to something plus you're getting a yes. So it's like the go ahead, something's getting the go ahead and you made space for it by saying no to something and intuitively knowing like this is messages from the devil saying, I mean from the devil, no, the high priestess saying you got to say no to this. Um, the other thing is that also the, the devil with this high priestess might be the good old self-sabotage turning up where it's like, no, I'd prefer to be stuck where I am, thank you very much, because that's just an old holding pattern that I'm dealing with. But all these other energies are moving forward. The high priestess is saying, no, we're moving forward. It's interesting because this could be messages from Pluto because we've got the black and white pillars that are coming through, showing you where you've been really stuck in the past. I mean, the transformation, the death card is ruled by Pluto. It is a Scorpio, Pluto kind of energy coming through. So a lot of your fellow water signs, Scorpio and Cancer coming through for you, Pisces. The hanged man can be a very Piscean energy as well around forgiveness and sacrifice and letting go of things that you don't no longer hold on, need to hold on to. So it's there's some big energies that you're working through here. Absolutely some big energies. And I feel like this may be that you are seeing very clearly that you have to say no to somebody that you have to say no to something in order to bring the love back, in order to give the green light and the go ahead to this Queen of Cups energy, which brings in love and compassion and self-love and healing. So yeah, interesting energy. It feels very powerful. It's, it's big energy that you're working with. The fact that you've got like, well, five major arcanas plus the death card. So there's, it's no wonder that this little two of swords here is going, oh, I don't know how to make a decision because I've got all these like big energies that I'm processing at this moment in time. And your conscious mind, you know, two of swords represents your thoughts, how you're thinking about things and it's your rational thoughts or your plans and ideas and your mindset, how you're responding to things uh, mentally and it's like you've got all these other big energies that are saying it's not just how you're thinking about it. There's a whole heap of different perspectives and vantage points and different ways to process the energy from spirit, from your intuition, from the clarity is coming. So it's like uh, your mind might feel a little bit like, whoa, what's going on? But if you come back into trusting your intuition and come back into how you're really feeling about something, like again, trust your heart with the Queen of Cups, this is where you are going to find that place that it's going to be easier to go through this transition. We've got the buffalo. Okay, of course this is something big that's coming through here. The buffalo comes in when it's potentially a really good omen that something really fortuitous is about to happen. The buffalo says it's time. You get message that it's time now. So you you um getting the message to give the green light to something and to say no to something else. And so this may have been something that's been hanging around for a while. Again, we come back to that. They're showing me the, the old shell of the cicada that was kind of feels like it's no longer relevant or necessary anymore. And it was something that was potentially hanging around or you were carrying the weight of that, but it's time to let that go. And so the buffalo is like a really big determined energy when it comes in. It represents um, really good fortune, good luck, good timing with something at this moment in time as well. So, but yeah, you're working with some big energies and we can see the lightning there, which is messages from spirit coming through and there's just a lot to process. So yeah, interesting. You might be dealing with, with some people that have been a bit stubborn, quite literally, uh, but I think yeah, or people that are just hard to, there's energies that are hard to move or budge. Um, maybe people are saying no when you think you sh they should be saying yes to something. 
Uh, but ultimately it's more about what's going on inside of you rather than trying to get the buffalo to move if it's not willing to move because it's telling you that it's time for you to say yes to something but that doesn't mean it's somebody else's yes it might be somebody else's no so uh, but that doesn't mean that you know you're going in dif- different directions or that there's a big breakup or anything like that going on it just means to honor your own path and that's kind of um the energy that's coming through with this because I feel like this is more a sense of you coming back to love and a place of emotional safety and caring and putting whatever issues that you have with a relationship in your heart and give it the loving compassion that it needs so that it can transform. So that's it, Pisces. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and look forward to seeing you next time.